So I'm Nicole. Um, I'm a nurse over in Panama City in Florida. And um, about probably five, six years ago, I had a very bad corneal ulcer. Um, initially, right after that, I sold that I almost like, completely lost my eye. The first doctor I went to said my only option was a corneal transplant. I didn't really like that, so I wanted a second opinion. And I've been seeing the doctor in Panama City I've been going to, but he wanted to see how the um, scar faded and how the vision improved over time. And it's about, I think, as good as it was getting. And so I started, I had, I had scleral lenses. I started doing research on just corneal specialists and looking, because I wanted to see if there was any other options out there. And that's when I came across um, Dr. Gulani and his practice through a Google search. And I was reading, and actually the patient testimonials and everything is what really got me more looking into it. I'm like, he has stuff that, you know, he might be able to do something that other people can't. He has things that other people don't. And um, that's what made me set up the console in time, and I'm really glad that I did. And, you know, the second you walk in the door, everyone's so welcoming, and everyone, everything's so well explained to you. They're very thorough, and um, that's one thing, like, I notice, even with the um, initial scans and everything, like, in the hospital, the doctors are in and out of the rooms all the time. They're not very present. They have, you know, they're halfway out the door before they even start talking to you, because they have to get to the next person, the next person. And that's one thing that here, I felt like he wasn't rushed and he was very present in the care and very present in like doing his own scans and verifying everything and making sure everything was right. He wanted, and also saying that, you know, if he didn't see a potential for an improvement that he didn't want to do any surgery, where that's something different too. A lot of doctors just kind of throw things out and we'll try this if it doesn't work and we'll do this. And so I had that surgery yesterday, which the speed of it was absolutely insane. Blows my mind in the scans this morning, just the difference overnight of the scar and what it looks like. Like, it doesn't even look like the same eye. I'm really looking forward to seeing, like, the final result. And I plan on coming and having a correct my other eye's vision later on. Um, but really, like, my whole takeaway with this is just the whole process has been on just a medical level and on a personal level just exceptional, over the top. Like, he is absolutely the best. Like, I have not met another doctor like that. And I haven't had staff, like, in any office be, like, how the staff is here. And... I can't speak highly enough of this and the whole experience. It was absolutely wonderful. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna come back and if anyone asks where to go, I'm gonna be pointing here because <laughs> there's, there's like no one else that's like this that I've ever come into. Yep. Um, just what I was gonna say with my daughter here, um, you know, I knew that she was gonna have to have some help and I, I'm doing what a mom does, is taking care of her child, so. Um, but I'm I'm impressed with everything in this office. Like she said, the staff, the doctor. I have never seen a doctor so uh, precise, so um, aggressive as far as treatment with regard to explaining everything. It's just been phenomenal. I'm just blown away by the the way that her scan looks from not even 24 hours difference. Um, you know, I I'm just very very impressed, very very amazed and. Um, if I ever have to have surgery in my eyes, which he told me I should have had 10 years ago for cataracts, um, uh, preventative kind of, um, I'll come here. It doesn't matter that I live on the West Coast. It doesn't matter. Uh, and I just appreciate everything that he's done. And the staff, everybody's really been wonderful. Never seen anything like it. I'm Sarah Messer. I'm a second grade teacher with a master's in curriculum instruction. And I actually came here 16, almost 17 years ago and had ICL. And um, I was almost blind. I couldn't see the big E. In fact, my husband came with me that trip and he said, when he realized I couldn't see the big E, he's like, I am so sorry. I'll never make fun of you again. He was, um, he was really leery about me having the procedure. But when he met Dr. Galani, he was like, oh, I feel so much better. And um, that was an amazing, amazing difference in my life. Um, the last year, I just started getting, last year or two, uh, blurry vision, and I had cataracts. So, but it was really affecting my life as a teacher. So, um, it was worth it for me. It was a no-brainer to come back here because, because of my, it was a more, um, the procedure was going to be a little bit hard, more complex. I was like, I didn't trust anybody else. Um, I didn't want to go blind. So, I had the one I had done three weeks ago, and this I had done a week and a half ago, and. Um, colors are so much more vibrant um, and I had had other doctors like people are saying why don't you go and insurance will cover why don't you go to this doctor and I'm like no because I had other doctors try to tell me before I could have laser LASIK and I was told that I would go blind because my corneas are so thin 
And so I thought, nope, I thought I'm gonna take a chance. Um, but they're they're really good here. It's work. I never miss work hardly ever in my life. And I was willing to take off. I was like, I've got to take off these days. I have to do this because it was worth coming here versus anywhere else. Um, it's, it's no brainer. But I forever will be grateful. Me, I guess. <laughs> I'm Jay. I came here from Nashville. This is my second time here. I had RK like many in the '90s, and it was uh, good for the while. Good for a while. I had um, six very deep astigmatic cuts, um, and uh, my vision as it began to deteriorate. I could I could hold a business card here. I couldn't even read it. There was just no, no correction or anything that really could even be done. As a matter of fact, they had sent me to, uh, just as the last uh, option, somebody there locally, another uh, board certified ophthalmologist that looked at the measurements and said, we just, we can't help you. And uh, I don't, I'm not sure what possessed me to go on. I started looking online to see if there was somebody that could go on and, and treat somebody like me uh, that had RK in the past and Dr. Galani's, uh, YouTube videos came up and I began to see people, uh, patients' testimonies that were similar to mine. I had over 17 diopters of astigmatism. You couldn't even put a contact lens on my eye. Nothing could wow. be done. There was just nothing to do. And Dr. Galani spent a lot of time with me on this second trip, measuring, remeasuring. And uh, we decided to go ahead. He, when he talks about the fight, the fight was on this time. I really got to understand what that was, and we did that together. You know, he and I, and um, so I had the surgery yesterday, the laser plastique, and got up this morning, and there is improvement, and I'm thrilled. And so I have options today um, that I didn't have. <clears throat> and wow. uh, I got to give a shout out to to the, the staff here. He calls them Galani's Angels. They really are. <laughs> Every one of them were just great to me. I don't know how they do it, uh, but you come in and you're by yourself almost. There's not a line of people the way they work everybody through. Plenty of time. They call you after. The doctor calls you. And again, it's been great, the experience I have. And as I get to meet the others here, I know this is this is where people come when when they're out of options, this is where we all get to meet one another and find you know, hope in what he does. So anyway, I'm grateful for what he's done. I'll be, I'm will be gonna try to go up front and book to be back, hopefully in another <laughs> month or two to start on this one. <laughs> My name's Jacob and I'm from uh, New Orleans, Louisiana and came back for the first time three or four months ago and did the first part of the surgery. Just like this guy, I had the RK that cut too deep into my uh, corneas and was forced to wear these serial contacts, which I don't know if you ever had to wear them, but they're not very comfortable. Hard contacts put in with a plunger, take out with a plunger. Uh, so I came back to do the second surgery where he fixed my cornea this time. And uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing out of that eye and starting on the second one. So, but very good surgeon, very good staff, and uh, very professional. And uh, I'm very pleased with it. That's great. All right. Hey. I'm, I'm Ricky. I'm retired for the last nine years. And uh, a good friend of mine was telling me about the cataract surgery he had done and he wasn't happy with it. The doctor had told him that it was um, because of his age, you gotta expect this. And he didn't like the answer. And someone highly recommended Dr. Galani. And when I had diagnosed with cataract surgery from my glaucoma doctor, I, the first thing that came to mind was, all right, I gotta try Dr. Golani, and I am so happy. That was the, I had the surgery on Wednesday. The hardest part was laying in bed, but you know what, it was well, well worth it. And he's like Michelangelo. <laughs> no, he's, there's nobody better. Yes. I guess I'm up. <laughs>
<laughs> and you're from New York, right? Yes. 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 Hi, everyone. I'm Dave Drake. I'm from Chapel Hill. I'm a senior IT program manager. And even though I don't know any of you, I feel connected to all of you because we all are here for the same reason, more or less. And we all suffered. And our journey took us to the same place at the same time with the best people in the world to help us alleviate our eye diseases, our eye conditions. Um, and we're also, I know, grateful and just filled with some type of satisfaction that we didn't think we'd ever see. Like many of you that I've talked to, I have extreme astigmatism. I had the RK experience in the 80s. I had a cataract. I had such a refractive error from my cornea, a misshapen cornea over the years that I was off the charts, okay? And so one surgery that he performed Wednesday corrected this, unbelievable, where doctors told me, ready? I wasn't qualified. The patient wasn't qualified for this corneal specialist in the Washington DC area and Virginia. And that wasn't just one, that was two, three, four. I, I lost track of how many I tried to consult with. He's an answer and he's the best answer. And I wish that the medical profession would take mm -hmm. notice of what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And in some small part, maybe we can play in that role. I've offered to be part of his symposiums. I would gladly take time off from work and stump on the podium for him because it's worth it for all of us and all the people that come after us. Thank you. <clears throat> My name's Jennifer and I'm not far from him in uh, Pequot Arena, North Carolina. Had LASIK. Represent. Yes. <laughs> That's not very good day. Uh, yeah. Maybe losing my train of thought. No, um, I had LASIK surgery during COVID to not have to wear the mask, had three prescriptions in my glasses. That worked great for two months, had a complication, went back a few months later, had flat relifted um, and developed something very rare called CTK. Stayed with that doctor in Raleigh for almost two years for caring for me, giving me this, that, and the other. Basically, I think the runaround sent me to a cataracts doctor saying I had cataracts, it wasn't her problem. That doctor disagreed with what she said. So finally, March of 23, she just walked out of the room, slammed the door on us and said she didn't know what else to do with me. So I went hunting on Google <laughs> for anybody who could help me. And of course, came straight to Dr. Galani's site. Very skeptical, thought there's no way this is real after going to Duke and anywhere else and they're all telling you no hope no hope so we had the phone consultation with him September of 23 still hung up the phone like um, whatever <laughs> made our way down here to the appointment still the first day I was still skeptical but <laughs> after spending time with him the care his staff has given us the, the time they spent with us when I was upset and didn't know what to do, reading through all the papers again, sign this, sign this, bringing back bad memories from what had happened. <coughs> home. Just felt this peace. I feel like the Lord brought us here. Um, he's carried us through this. I had the lens replacement here in October. Amazing results. And then yes, Wednesday, yes, what is today? Yesterday, I had the the corrective part of the vision. Zero pain. Just just so thankful. So thankful. Uh, good morning everybody. My name is Maria. I have uh, LASIK surgery like 13 years ago and like everybody else it came good for a while but uh, after that I have a lot of uh, vision problems like cross finger um, crossing wars, whatever it was, every everything was bad. And then I have a good friend who had the surgery a few years ago, and highly recommend him. I came, he just spoke the day. I have my left eye already done, waiting for the second one. But already I feel so much better, and hoping the right will be the same way. Doctor Gulani is super tremendous person, very professional. The staff. 
like the other lady said, the angels around the area. Mm -hmm. And I highly recommend to everybody to uh, try the, um, uh, the appointment and, and see if they can help them. It's 100% they, they say yes, but at least try it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My name's Dana. Uh, I was born blind in my left eye. Um, and as I aged, my cataracts got really bad in both eyes. I uh, went to several uh, <coughs> doctors in the area that I lived in, and they said, well, nothing we can do for the left eye, the right eye. I'd get to a point where you're basically blind and we'll try it, and if we screw things up, nothing gained, nothing lost. Um, so uh, my daughter, uh, whose husband is Chad, who works <laughs> here as the uh, anesthesiologist, uh, said, you gotta try Dr. Galani. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I've already tried several other eye doctors. And he said, but you didn't try Dr. Galani. <laughs> so um, anyway, it took a year or two to finally you know, I, I came a year ago and I said, yeah, it just doesn't seem like it's going to do anything. Um, anyway, a month ago, I had my left eye, my blind eye done. Mm. <laughs> and I can see. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I had my right eye done Wednesday and it looks good. So uh, it, it is a miracle. Oh I'm his wife, <laughs> and I've been blessed to be part of the journey, and I do have to say, along with Dana, that Dr. Galani is, of course, amazing, and his staff is also amazing, and it is a very scary thing to go through, and very frightening if you have one eye. And knowing that the uh, that eye is both eyes are precious, but when you only have one eye, it's really scary. And I have to say that the staff, every time we called, every time, and we were probably over the top, uh, over the average, but um, they were exceptionally kind and professional and caring, and we appreciate that beyond measure. So, thank you to all. Yeah. <laughs> Scotty, you go first. Dave, go first. Go no, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrestling. I'm wrestling. I'm last. Thank you. Uh, my name is Lee Osborne, and uh, uh, actually, Dr. Galante is one of my best friends. I'll, I'll start with that. Um, we've been friends for over 20 years. Uh, I'm a real estate attorney. I'm his real estate attorney. That's how we met. Uh, I started about two years ago losing vision in my right eye, and uh, over the last two years, he's tried to convince me to come in for a mapping to, mm -hmm. to find out what the problem was. Uh, upon coming in and doing the mapping, it was discovered that I have what's called Fuchs disease. So I have pinholes in my, in my right cornea, and over a period of time, I, I would eventually lose my vision. So uh, after much prayer and supplication, I did finally determine that it was best that I had the surgery. So I was here Wednesday as, as we both were. Mm -hmm. And just as a, as a matter of course, again, you know, in my right eye, I literally could not see two days ago, and now I can. Yeah. Wow. So and, and as a real estate attorney, who actually is the de facto attorney for the whole board of realtors for Northeast Florida, I do a lot of reading. Uh -huh. So for me, I really do need my eyes. And uh, so when I'm not in a closing or reviewing contracts, I'm on the computer. So I can assure you, again, I'm just very fortunate that God blessed me by making one of my best friends, Dr. Kalani. So, and I'll keep it that. Okay. My name is Don. Uh, used to live up in uh, South Carolina, uh, previously in law enforcement, and I uh, had RK surgery 35 years ago. First it was okay, but then it, I had to go into contacts because my vision, I needed that for my job and so forth. Um, started to have more problems and then went to every kind of contact lens you can think of, to glasses and everything else. Uh, and then I got cataracts in both my eyes. Uh, went and saw several cataract attorney, or 
<laughs> got a, a surgeons not only in South Carolina but here in uh, Florida. They both said we won't touch your eye. You have to have cornea transplant, and they just pushed you away. They wouldn't do anything about it. To, to, uh, the last one told me you just need to live with it because you got to have it. If you don't get a cornea transplant, just live with it. And I said I can't do that. Find Dr. Galani. Uh, to make a long story short, in January he did my right eye, took out my cataract, uh, came back, um, put a lens in, came back, uh, did surgery yesterday, uh, laser plasty on my right eye, which I can see really good now, and uh, just waiting for that to heal up, and then I'm going to come back and have the other eye done. So uh, he's a unique guy with unique skills and um, the most knowledgeable person I've ever met, doctor that ophthalmologist that has that kind of knowledge that he has so we, we're all blessed to, to find him so he did a great job for me I'm Robert and uh, I actually had my RK surgery in Oregon and I had like 40 incisions per eye and uh, for many years it was really good and then I started having some problems I also was developing cataracts too and I guess it's a little more challenging we have all those incisions you got to go underneath the cornea and pull it out which she did and uh, the we did my left eye first but at that time they didn't really have a, a lens where it would cover all of the incisions and I had this new Optiva lens put on the right eye and it looks like um, I had a second surgery today, and it looks like the vision is going to be really good. And then in the future, we can, uh, the doctor can put uh, kind of a covering over those incisions in the left eye and hope for similar results too. What do you say, Scotty? Should I go? Yes. <laughs> so I'll speak for him. Uh, this is Mr. Harvinder Kumar Chabra. He's from India, and he's a businessman and a gemstone specialist, so he certainly needs his eyes. And um, he got his RK done 35 years ago, and for the most part, it was all fine. Uh, but then uh, he got cataracts in both his eyes about four years ago. and. Um, he got his right eye cataract corrected back in India, but he had a lot of post-op complications, a distorted cornea after that, so high astigmatism along with it, and uh, RK scars that was hindering his uh, eyesight as well. So he had halos, he could not see properly, he had to stop driving in the evenings, so mm -hmm. that's kind of scary for a person who's really active in general. And his left eye also started developing um, um, cataracts, and we spoke with Dr. Galani in September or October of 2022. And um, back then we didn't even have a visa to bring him here. So Dr. Galani was really kind to even um, <clears throat> suggest someone back in India, just so that we could try and get a surgery done there. And my dad went to that doctor and he did not spend more than two minutes with my uh, parents and I went to India I spoke with the doctor myself and I was not satisfied with the plan that he was suggesting so we decided we are going to get him a visa we're going to bring him here and get the surgery done here and so I flew them here in February and uh, he made sure that Dr. Galani he made sure that we can get both his eyes done in 15 days and so he first operated on the left eye with the cataract and we are already seeing amazing changes and his, his vision is improving already. He was legally blind in that eye. Wow. And then he did um, his right eye this Thursday and it's all been amazing. The staff is amazing. I think I've not seen as compassionate people before. I've been to so many doctors and I, I've never had this experience and they're all grateful. My mother sends her thanks <laughs> to the doctor and the staff. So yeah, thank you. Hi, I'm Carol. Um, I live in the Villages, it's about 150 miles from here. Um, but anyway, I had RK like most of you back in the 80s and um, it was good for a while and then eventually I start wearing one contact, two contacts and, and as I got older, uh, vision just kept getting worse and then the cataracts came in and got 
sent away from one doctor to the other, you know, like, go away, I can't help you, you know. Um, the last doctor I was at was like, okay, you can't, we're going to wait a year, we're going to wait a year. And then the last time I went, he said, well, you're ready now for surgery, but I'm moving to um, Virginia, so I'm not going to be doing it. I'm like, great, here I am all over again. So anyway, I, um, I'm like, I've got to do something. So I started Googling RK and cataract surgery, and I found um, Dr. Galani on Facebook of all crazy things. So anyway, I'm like, to my husband, he's only at Jacksonville. Let's just give it a try. And so here I am. I had my surgery last week. I'm already seeing really well in my left eye. And it's just been great. And one thing I do want to say is I've been so skeptical every time I go to a doctor about, you know, can they do this? Can they not do this? And one said he could, and I just did not have a good feel for him. But I came in here and saw Dr. Galani, and I just was totally comfortable. It's just amazing. So anyway, I went through with it, and I was just real happy. I still got one more to go, but I'm real happy with the results. My turn. Uh, hi, my name is Edgar. I, I'm, I'm from Jacksonville. I, uh, I'm an entrepreneur here. And um, I just want to say that we are all blessed that we're here today and we were able to find uh, Dr. Gulani. Um, I know it's not easy and I, I hear the stories here and it's incredible. I feel like mine is not really that bad <laughs> considering anything I've heard so far. Um, I got to know Giuliani through a friend and uh, he had a bad eye vision, he had cataracts, and he said, hey, uh, there's this great doctor that's world-renowned, and he does this stuff. And uh, my wife was talking to him because she had an eye that was shaped like a football. And uh, she went to a lot of doctors. We were originally from New York, and they told us, no, that no one could really fix that, only Europe. You can go to Europe, they may have some techniques out there that may fix the shape of the eye. And... Uh, and when my friend Dave told me about Dr. Giuliani, uh, we came and made an appointment. He saw her, he says, yes, I, I know what you have. I've worked on this before and we can fix this. So we were, we were ecstatic because um, she would have lost her eye if, uh, if it wasn't fixed. And what he did was he put a metal ring in her eye and it straightened it back out and made it round again. Wow. Yeah, it's it's an incredible operation. So uh, while I was here, I said, hey, would you check my eyes now that I'm here? <laughs> and he did, and he told me, listen, you need to, you need to fix your eyes. I, I didn't think so, but he was right. Uh, you know, I, this was about three years ago, and uh, he says that, you know, I sh it's cataracts, and I should take it out and just get ahead of it. I didn't do it, and now I got a lot of halo and, and bad vision at night. I got the starbursts, and it's very hard for me to read. I close vision. So I, I came to him and uh, finally decided to do it. He did the left eye and then um, I'm going to do the right eye and hopefully, you know, I'll get rid of all the star bursts and I can read again. So that's my story. All right, mom, it's you. Uh, it's Scotty's turn. <laughs> well, I'm going to say I, I wanted to be last because I wanted to hear everybody's marvelous stories. Every story is unique in its own way, unique to the person and unique to the condition. Mm -hmm. So, and that we have such a skilled person with so much knowledge in our midst, Dr. Golani. He is a, he's an exceptional human being. God put him on this earth, and I don't know how how we ended up with him here because we're we're very very fortunate people. We're a good group, and um, I must say that Fly by Fridays is particularly you wonderful to me because I've been in the air charter business for almost thirty something years, <laughs> so that's what I do: fly airplanes. Mm -hmm. And then Leslie is my director of operations. She's and my daughter. daughter. <laughs> but, uh, but I thought that was an appropriate. I love the uh, I love the title of Fly by Friday. I said that's for me. Everybody, everybody's story is unique in its own individual way, and but we have one single thread that binds us all together. What's that, Doctor Kalati, right? <laughs> He's the one that's taking good care of us. I uh, 
my, my journey to him started a couple of years ago in actuality. And uh, I made an appointment, my eyes were getting pretty bad. And I made an appointment, but then your circumstances of life, such as heart attacks and uh -oh. kidney failures and a husband of 52 years dying and COVID and you just name it, all came about. So I canceled all of that. And so then uh, not long ago, I had tried to go to, I had to get a new pair of glasses. And once you turn, what, 75 or something, they require you to have a, a new test at the DMV. I could not read line five to <laughs> save my life. <laughs> so line five was beyond anything and I just couldn't do it. I told my daughter, I said, go up there, read line five, because I don't think they change it. Memorize it and come on and tell me. <laughs> 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 I got this, but uh, my eyes have just gotten progressively worse. And then and I went to a Mayo Clinic, and uh, there they told me I had six months or less to live, to go home, make my plans. I was done for. I was over. So uh, I said, well, that's not the Scotty way. I'm sorry. <laughs> we don't do it like that. So, but then I, I kept living. Then my children started asking, well, I thought mom was going. I thought she'd be gone. Where is she? Why is she still here? <laughs> so finally, my eyes just got so bad that I just, I couldn't see at all. And quit driving, just kind of like housebound, and that's not me. I called Dr. Golani's office again. I said, will y'all reconsider me? And so they said, of course. And they brought me in, and... We did the initial evaluation. He says, a lot of things going on here, <laughs> you know, not only with the health, all the comorbidities, and but the eyes, the eyes themselves, you know, just terrible. So we scheduled, and it was Wednesday. That probably was the most painless thing I've ever encountered in my, of all the things that's going on with this. That's the most painless thing I've ever encountered in my life. Not a bit of pain during, after, since. I mean, it's just been amazing. And uh, and everybody was so kind to me. As you were saying, I have to give so many kudos to the staff. The staff is just, <clears throat> they're, they're brilliant people. They are professional. They're kind, they're considerate. They just, they just give to you. And you just, really, everybody here, Dr. Guliani and his staff, make you feel like you're the only person, mm -hmm. the only person, the only patient. And that means a lot to me when doctors have just kind of written me off and said, go <clears throat> away, goodbye, nothing more we can do for you. Like, you know, they're saying, nothing more we can do for you. And then, of course, when I went back to do the surgery, the spa, that's a beautiful facility there. That's a, <laughs> that is just set up to perfection. It's a, you couldn't ask for anything better than that. And it's designed for him, his staff, and the way he likes to do things. He doesn't have anybody tell him what he can and can't do and where he has to be. Nothing, absolute. This is, this is his world. And he's the king of the world. <laughs> uh, I, I'm so appreciative. I, I mean, the gratitude in my heart has no words. I have no words for the gratitude in my heart, except to just say, thank you, thank you, thank you. I would like to add just a little bit for my mother. Pardon me, I tend to cry about everything. I just wanna thank everyone here in this office. They have been absolutely wonderful. I do want to introduce myself. I'm the other Leslie. <laughs> yeah, lady, lady here, you'll hear Dr. Gulani and other people yelling out Leslie, and I'm going, yes, sir, yes, sir, yeah. yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. So I'm the other Leslie. And I just want to say on procedure day, that was the most important. I was very concerned with my mother's health. She does have a few complications with things, and I will once again reiterate how amazing and how much care he gave my mother prior to the procedure. That was more important than anything to me because of my experiences with her hospital stays. 
have been horrendous. They have not been pleasant. It is hard to be the daughter, the oldest daughter, to watch my mother go through these types of things. The other day, I was cool, calm, collected. They kept coming in, informing me of every little thing. They told me that they were gonna take extra care with her. They told me that they needed to spend a little more time with her back there with recovery and for me not to worry about anything. I did not worry and I am a worrier. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanna thank him very much personally for my experience that I had here with my mother. And I'm glad she's got her first eye. Can't wait for her to get her second. Can't wait for her to be able to say, Leslie, I can see. <laughs> My goodness, why did I even think about putting this off? It's amazing. But thank you, Leslie. And I can't wait to get that second one done. Schedule it today. <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs>